Hi everyone, I hope that you're doing fantastic. Today is the 26th of December, 2019, and I'm here to pull our 24 hour rune. So let's go ahead and get focused here. Happy birthday to you Capricorns today, and I hope everybody has enjoyed their holiday. Thank you, sweet divine. What do you want to say? I bind and block all negative forces. I command for the truth to come to the surface, the whole truth and nothing but the truth. It's the most important message for us today. Okay, we got one coming up. Ah, I love it, guys. <laughs> We've actually got this before. But today's date is the 26th, and we get the 26th letter um, come up here, which is beautiful. Actually, it's the Z. It's actually the 15th letter in the runes, but the Z in our alphabet is still 26, so it, we're still getting it here. So, But the 15th letter is devil energy, okay? <laughs> and that we're in the 10th house right now, and that is about having to resist things, um, seductions, bondages, restraints, okay? Soulmates, you know, behaviors that don't, uh, that don't pay off for us, okay? When we pass a test with that energy, uh, then we get rewarded with that 10th house energy, okay? So today's day being the 26th, it actually makes the eight, and that's about having strength, okay? Compassion, focusing, got to focus when the, you know, uh, energy of the, the, I'm sorry. I'm so, I'm so sorry. My, my brain. I'm trying to say two different things at one time because I'm thinking of the date, but I'm also thinking about the vibration of the number at the same time. Th this energy, the vibration today is the eight. Okay. We have to have the strength because that takes two strength card. Okay. At the same time, this is a fifth. This is the 15th letter, which takes us to devil energies in the, in the vibration, but it's also the lover's energy as well because 15 also make a six. All right, and we, within the 26 for today's date, because this is a Z, okay, and that's our 26th letter, we do find the 6 there, okay? We also find a 2 there, which is having to use the intuition because that's high priestess energy, okay? Which takes to the moon. <laughs> so, you know, I know it's complex, but everything, when we understand how vibration works, got to pay attention to that kind of stuff. That's why, bottom line, it breaks to an 8, Having to have strength, okay? Things coming to the surface. We've been told that that eighth house energy was over this um, season of Capricorn itself, all right? That video can be found down below. It was a very sobering video that the divine gave us for this season. Um, but we don't shy away from anything negative or positive. We look at it all so that we can, uh, you know, organize where it needs to go and uh, bypass things that we need to bypass. Okay, take a look at it. Don't be afraid to look at the negative. It's going to save you if you do. That's called wisdom. Okay, so the 15th letter is the Z here and it means resistance itself. Okay, we got to resist the devil energy when it wants to come on you and you want to flare up and emotions and stuff. And look, we've all been there. We, we all are being tested every day. Okay, and if somebody does push your buttons or whatever, sometimes you do have to, you know, push back, but in a positive way with integrity and in truth. Doesn't always look pretty, but as long as you're in truth, it'll work out every single time. Okay. Because you definitely don't want to be a doormat for anybody either. This represents help. It represents a shield. Beautiful because the eight, uh, a vibration of the eight is a protection. In the Hebrew, the eight represents um, being protected inside of a tent wall. Okay, also represents from passing from one space to the next. So that vibration is still here. And uh, we pass from one space to the next and be able to move forward in a positive direction by way of our resistance to emotions that don't serve us. And in the first reading today, we had the yod, which is the hand, make it a move, okay? And our moves, it'll either make us or break us, okay? And so we've got uh, impulse here as well is what this means. So we don't be impulsive. We, we pay for that stuff every single time. We get chained up and stuff that we don't we don't want that. This absolutely is a recovery of some kind, okay? Recovering something in all positivity within strength and willpower and the actions that we take and taking courage and doing the correct thing, all right? And achieving those rewards. This is a real impediment that can be overcome and 
protection granted. You know, just like I said, the eight represents, uh, vibration represents a protection, even though the eight is also very transformative energy. Okay, it's death. And sometimes that's hard energy. Things coming to the surface that have been hidden. Maybe you've been hiding something you need to bring to the surface. Maybe something now needs to just be put to rest after it's been exposed. And then you move on and you've been completely transformed. We've seen the death card in my second reading along with the Wheel of Fortune itself, which is the 10, which will go back to the first reading. And everything is intertwined. And the divine will speak a thing over and over again to get his point across. This is what I want you to do. I want you to try transform things because I'm going to protect you. Okay. If you will resist, I will reward you. I will allow you to pass from one space to the next. I'll give you new hope and I'll give you freedom, but you got to do it in truth and you got to learn from that place and you've got to teach from that place and you've got to understand from that place that that's the only way that you get grace. That's the only way that we do. We got to stay balanced within it. All right, guys. So we've actually got the Z, which is the 26th letter of our alphabet, which is today's date. But it yet, like I said, it's about choices okay because it's the 15 devil energies but it's also the lovers energies how will you choose to love today will you be balanced will you be in harmony uh, that's what the divine says because that's where we find our grace shalom